We're back with another school newscast. Find out why you should be in the gym after school today. We've got the story and more coming up on Patriots Today. Good morning, I'm Regan Browse. And I'm Zachary Rajapaksa. Do you like pie, Regan? I love pie. That's cool. Well, the first annual pie with parents event is underway here at Mojave Accelerated Elementary School for grades one through four. The school invited parents or other family members to come share pie with their kids in the cafeteria while writing letters to our soldiers. Third grade students will enjoy their pie this afternoon at 2.45, while the other grades had theirs yesterday. By the way, the pies were apple and pumpkin, if you were wondering. Seniors, if you're considering a career in the field of, metal, of health science, then we got an event for you. There will be an open house at Mojave Community College on December 3rd for all interested seniors. They will be providing information on different areas of study, including dental, nursing, radiology, surgery techs, fire science, EMT and physical therapy. There will be a guest speaker along with the representatives from NAU and a lunch will be provided by the college's culinary department. If you are interested in attending, you need to sign up with Mr. Van Wy or Mrs. Bros today. The Strategy Game Club meets today after school in Mr. Carlson's Credit Recovery Lab. Drumline and the Art Drama Club both meet after school club, oh, after school as well. If you've got a school club that meets regularly, make sure you, your advisor sends in your meeting times and location to the morning announcements email so we can share that information here on Patriots Today. And that's your school news. Today in History is next, followed by the sports report. We'll be back in a moment. New Jersey became the first state to ratify the Bill of Rights in 1789. In 1981, Microsoft Windows 1.0 was released. The first module of the International Space Station named Zarya was launched in 1998. Skylar Manguillo joins us now on the set, which means it's time for sports. Skylar? That's right, Zach. The basketball teams hit the court for the first time today. Both varsity squads will take the, to the battleground this afternoon for preseason scrimmage matchup with the Salome Frog. Salome is a small town near Quartzsite, and we saw their girls earlier this year in volleyball. Some of the same girls will be back on the courts this afternoon at 3, followed by the boys' game. AIA scrimmage rules mean the teams won't be in their regular uniforms and no score will be kept. But basketball action should still be exciting to watch. Coach Kern of the Lady Patriots noticed that his players are excited about the opportunity to try out things they've been practicing. Come out and support both Patriot teams right after school today. We'll be on break next week, but not the basketball teams. The regular season kicks off next Tuesday as they go on the road to face Glendale Pep Griffins in the Phoenix area. The teams met before in, when Glendale Prep played in our league in the Arizona Charter Athletic Association. The rest of the teams, including middle school basketball and soccer, get underway this week of December. The first week of December. We'll have all the results here on Pay Streets today. That's your sports report, and I'm Skylar Manguillo. Thank you, Skylar. That's it for the news, but before we say goodbye, here's today's elementary lunch menu.
Our quote of the day comes from William Arthur Ward. He said, feeling gratitude and not expressing it is like wrapping a present and not giving it. And with that, we, think, we want to thank you for watching today. Have a great Thanksgiving, and we'll see you all in December.